Raising the corporate income tax is often promoted as a way to generate revenue for helpful government services. Unfortunately, higher corporate taxes typically hurt the very people they're supposed to help because they lead to lost wages and fewer opportunities for many workers. Consider this hypothetical example. Imagine a business in the early 2000s considering moving part of their workforce from desktop computers to laptops. This is a major investment, but the company weights the cost against the anticipated return and believes it will be profitable in the long run. Their investment pays off in multiple ways. Field engineers who used pen and paper and then had to re-enter data and reports on desktops back in the office were instantly more productive. Other workers gained the freedom to work from home. This boosted performance and increased job satisfaction. The company could also now hire remote workers in other cities and attract more talent. All of these gains led to greater efficiency, product breakthroughs, and higher revenue, which in turn enabled the company to increase wages through raises, bonuses, and promotions, and to create new jobs. Now, imagine the corporate income tax is raised and the investment is no longer viable for the company because the costs outweigh the benefits. All of the productivity and innovation gains then go unrealized, and workers lose out on those increased wages and opportunities. This same story would play out in different ways for all types of companies and workers throughout the economy. This is the problem with raising the corporate income tax. Workers may benefit from the government services they provide, but they also experience real economic harm. And studies show that higher corporate taxes reduce wages most for young workers, low-skilled, and women. Many in these groups already face significant barriers to working, like limited transportation or high childcare costs, which, when coupled with lower wages, can make it unaffordable to work at all. Many economists agree that the corporate income tax is one of the most harmful and least efficient ways to fund our priorities. Taxes are necessary for government services, but they shouldn't come at the cost of lower wages and lost opportunities for the people the services are supposed to help. 